This is <laughs> Mr. Crowley. So what they're gonna they're gonna be is it? Oh, what it be is it? Oh, right, should I stop the video? Whoa, my babies. I love these so much. They're, it's like getting a handful of kittens. You guys are so the best. Oh my God, I forgot you. I left you behind. You left him behind, Kevin. I know, he's like, no, 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 no. All right, there we go. That's enough, there we go, perfect. Look at this. So everybody, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're gonna show off. This is a very much what we're about socialization of reptiles getting more and more people to realize that these animals should be loved and included in their lives and this is a lot of work going on here many successive generations i want you to learn more about the tricks and techniques that i use and the understanding that's taken me many years to understand these animals so you can better deal with your animals so we're going to do a series of uh, reptile socialization videos and uh, the, I'm kind of like the guy that was originating a lot of this and I just, I want people to understand there's a lot involved here. This takes a huge amount of time. It also takes a great amount of uh, know-how and I want you to learn to get the best out of your animals. And it, you know, besides just keeping them and looking at them, I think we need to realize they have such wonderful personalities and of course their intelligence is, is remarkable. We are, after all, playing with reptiles that are acting a lot like birds because they're ultra smart. Since I started out with bugs and now I'm working with these ridiculous vertebrates. Look at that one, I just got spooked for a sec. Oh. Ran down the, my leg, the tree, because it saw a bigger monitor. So there's all sorts of different things going on. But I uh, started out with bugs, playing with bugs, understanding bugs, and then my fascination for all animals has basically given me some um, benefits and helped me with the platform. So if it's a dwarf caiman, it's a toke gecko, if it's a reticulated python, anaconda, whatever, I'm gonna to try to figure out the best way we can communicate to them and actually te teach them to actually trust us. So you can have ridiculous experiences like this. Oh, your earrings are ripped out. Oh, he, dude, dude, he's, he's ready. Jacked. Okay, this is... <laughs> Mr. Crowley, he doesn't like Captain Drool a lot. Thank you, Kevin, for taking my safety in consideration. What? Who cares? <laughs> I didn't even know I had to consider that. That's fun. Dude. So Mr. Crowley, I've actually got Mr. Crowley actually pretty good. He doesn't like cameras and he doesn't like being put on the, uh, the inspection block. But what's really great about this, this is a T-negative Dendrophila melanota. This is the largest of the mangroves, and this is the doozy. This is the one to breed. This is where my, uh, a strong affinity for mangrove snakes, and this is pretty much the heat. This is, this is just it. If you look at this glorious creature, there are T-negative dendrophila. I'm not really interested in those. I'm strictly the melanota dude because these guys get big, and uh, I think they make uh, better overall captives, uh, more willing to eat things, and I'm gonna show you some babies from him. So what they're gonna, they're gonna be is it, oh, Ooh, that was, oh, that that was, was good. good. Medic, oh. oh, mommy. That's the first time. That was that's, a good one that's, too. That's the first time, he's, he's so geeked up. Kevin, did you just get bit on Kevin? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh my God. Come on. Should I stop the video? No, uh, okay. medic, the, medic, we, we stop. So what we gotta do? So basically, what we no no, no slow. Okay. What we just did, I just caught, I just got him very upset. Now usually I, I pick him up fine, but what I wasn't doing was so. What I usually do is keep him aimed at Jeremy, and I go over here, mm -hmm. and I can do 
we're going to do some socialization videos too because basically I'm like one of I'm basically the person that's been talking about socialization of reptiles for a long time and I'm pretty much like I have all these techniques that are, people are, are learning but literally I invented a lot of these weirdo little techniques and just thinking about these animals a little differently so I'd like to actually go over some of the key points but that's other videos but remember we want to keep the stress down so now he's starting to calm down right baby so the long tongue flicks he's starting to think I don't know if the person in the background making the noise is actually capable of thinking so we're just going to get you know what I'm going to do I am going to go put him away what you got Kevin Alright, so these are really, really cool. These are F1 offspring from Mr. Crowley, which is our albino, T negative albino melanata mangrove snake. So these are carrying the uh, T negative genetics of the dad, who is spectacular. And they look more like, you know, the dominant uh, melanota look, but they're carrying the genes. So when I actually were to breed these, they would uh, start giving me, uh, depending if I bred them to each other or if I bred them to dad, I can make albino melanota. And oh boy, am I excited about that. Years and years and years ago, I bred them. And then I've come back to breeding them and I'm doing divergence. But mangrove snakes are ridiculous. They're colubrids, but they seem to have this weird ability to hold eggs like I've never seen. So it's not like, uh, oh, it's done the egg laying shed and then 10 days later it's gonna go and lay. Nothing like that. I'm learning, uh, I'm learning you better wait. And you have a 100 day incubation period. And they're not exactly the easiest eggs to hatch too. So that's pretty cool, but look at these. These little buckies. Will you look at these little buckies? Mm. Oh my goodness, mm. what, 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 what. How did you know that? <laughs> How did you know to do that? Have you been watching Brian Barchuk videos? Just talked to Brian the other day and I Brian to told him. I talked to him this morning. Throughout the origin of cutting eggs. And I happen to know a guy that's like responsible for all the beginning of cutting eggs. But YouTube says not, different. What? YouTube says different though. You know who they say is? No. Jay Brewer. No. Huh. He's got the <laughs> Jay, I got Jay beat. I got him. Busted. I knew I knew this would piss you off. No, no, no. Look, no, first of all. <laughs> Jay is the butcher of Baghdad, and Jay is my buddy, and Jay is this. I don't like that. Okay, great. He's making amazing snakes. He can breed the hell out of reptiles, and lots of skills there. N nothing. I'm gonna make this little, little press. That's like, yeah. oh. He's like, I'm gonna yeah. poke a hole in that egg and peer through that hole so, forever. But uh, Brian, I just, I told Brian about actually how it came to be. But I'm literally the guy that was getting into eggs. I was getting into eggs watching the development of neonates, but you probably want to check out his story, but I can tell the whole story. But I told him a bunch of stories. So uh, Brian, I don't want to spoil what Brian's doing right this second. Uh, so what is this, Kevin? This is a divergence. So this is uh, one of, uh, I don't, are you, maybe, oh, I don't know how old this is, I don't know, maybe, is it a year? Not quite. Not We're quite. We're getting close though. There you go, Jeremy, keeps me, keeps me honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a week old. Perfectly hatched melanoma. It actually came out of a recage. It's a egg. divergence. Oh, no, it's not. What are you talking about? You you're, good, you're, good made. With, you're good with dates. You're yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are a trick to hatch. They really are, and I've learned a lot. But I think. I th oh, goodness. Look gracious. at you getting bit all over. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, 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 you didn't try to. Bite me, I'd bite you. No. Uh -huh. No, not quite, sir. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's a that's good a one. That's a champion bite right there. So the reason why I'm not worried, guys, is uh, Mr. Uh, so I've never been bit by him, actually. I've almost never been bit by a mango snake, ever. And he actually, certainly as long as that guy chewed on me. So he gave me a quick little chew, but they don't have the venom delivery system with pressure. So what they have to do is they have to chew, and they're, they're um, enlarged teeth you know, kind of pseudo fangs are in the back. And uh, to get that venom flowing, they have to kind of like chew on you and kind of manipulate that venom out. And uh, this, this is just, uh, I'm scared. There's a lot of lights, there's a lot of activity. So that's just, it's my fault I got bit because basically I just, uh, I was triggering him. And we all know about that, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%.
So, Donnie, what you need to do is like a cut right after the Crowley bite. It's 15 minutes later, and it's just Kevin's arm Dead. is like fucking. <laughs> it's fine. It was my fault. It's okay. I'm it's good. fine. We're gonna put some tetraglycerin on it. Is that is that is that what that is? Benadine? I don't know. Benadine? I don't know. Benahomaharamahamadine. <laughs> yeah. That stuff. So this is an update on our little female croc monitor. And this is the croc monitor that we did last Friday, and she had a prolapsed cloaca. This is a pretty serious issue. I don't really know what brought this on. This is not common. Well, she was crashing. She's not reacting a lot. You can definitely tell she has a lot of discomfort. And now she, uh, this is the same animal, so if you guys think we changed it out, you can match up everything. This is the one that I took, the, the large descended cloaca, and I put it back inside her. And she's my baby. This is Samantha. And, uh... Uh, she's, her name's Samantha? Yeah. Why, why do you name her Samantha? I, 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 first of all, I love the name Samantha, and she's such a doll. Oh. And basically, after, I've been, I've been babying her for the past days. I've been, I was really worried that she was going to die. Yeah. And so we can take a look at her, her cloaca. So Donnie, that's her cloaca. Look at that. So the swelling, she was, she had a lot of swelling up in her lower part of her gut near her pelvic girdle. I was really worried, everybody, that she might, she might pass because she was really, really crashing and uh, we put her on antibiotics and we're basically making sure that we're you know, keeping the stress down and she's really recovering now. Now her behavior, she's very responsive to me, uh, very bright eyed, tongue flicking, so she's thinking. I'm not detecting uh, any pain or whatever, so I'm pretty excited. I feel quite optimistic. She actually appears quite normal now. This is actually what she normally would do. And I haven't fed her yet, uh, so I've just been kind of keeping her really quiet, clean, and just making sure everything's okay. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. She looks a lot better, Kevin. I was scared. I really was. And uh, it, it, the thing with keeping reptiles, they're always going to throw us for a loop. And this is certainly far from an exact science. Even the, the medical aspects and treatments of reptiles is, is uh, so unknown compared to, let's say, dogs and cats and your typical you know, uh, pets or even horses. These guys, are, there's so much going on. And one thing that's uh, really life-threatening too is with gastrointestinal problems is sometimes something happens in their GI and one part of the gut telescopes into the other. And when that happens, uh, it can be horrific, it can be very deadly, and uh, death is uh, certainly uh, the result. If you get a perforated bowel, that's another thing. So sometimes when you actually have snakes breathing, occasionally the spines on the male's hemipene, if they're torn apart, it can perforate the, the colon, the bowel, the, the cloaca, any of that part of the GI tract. When you let GI tract flora into the body cavity of that animal, if you get any infection in that lining, it's horrific and it can result in a pretty quick death. You get a horrible systemic infection, but she's wonderful. But uh, thank you great for the great comments, people on our YouTube channel. Uh, there's a lot of people who really very interested in Samantha's welfare. So here she is again in her glory. She's kind of back to being my baby. And of course, we really appreciate all the comments and please like and subscribe and of course hit the notification bell. And of course, please watch us on twitch.tv. Become part of our audience so you can see some of the uh, underground murmurs and the weirdness of nerd because we're pretty strange people as far as uh, we love these animals so much and it's dictating our lives. And of course, please follow me on Evil Morph God on Instagram, and also New England Reptile on Instagram. And of course, New England Reptile on Facebook. And continue to give us your feedback, and we really appreciate your support and your interest in New England Reptile.